was excellent. Thank you very much for addressing the nation in, oh, in our I mean, studios. Well, the nation were watching too. Yes, I was just wondering actually about this relationship, this free zone between you and, uh, and Russell Crowe. The, the what? Free zone. The free zone. Was there a free zone? When there you were was a little bit. Was there? We make a bit of music together, Russell and I. I yeah. saw him years ago in a restaurant in Los Angeles with little Meg Ryan. I thought, I'll have what she's having. That's what I'm <laughs> but how have things, things been in, in terms of, can I say, companionship well, since Norm died? Since my husband passed away, and how sweet of you to mention that mm. in a lovely way you did. <laughs> no. I've never been happier since my husband died. <laughs> Most women were honest, they'd say the same thing. <laughs> I don't even wear his watch, isn't that sad? <laughs> but um, he'd want me to be happy. I haven't actually sought physical relationships with men. I, oh. I always thought that was a rather overrated aspect of human life, and I still do to some extent. So it's to your... some extent, Michael. Yeah. I mean, I've dallied here and there, but I don't think this is the time or the place to talk about it. It's a family show, <laughs> something I think Lenny forgot on a couple of occasions. <laughs> <laughs> That's you too, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> So, but no, I didn't realise that you had this monument to your husband. Oh, yes. The obelisk. You know... Uh, <laughs> I... You're a fine woman, Damien. <laughs> feel myself strangely drawn to you. I long to visit West India, where you come from. West India. <laughs> is, Just outside Dudley. Is, is Bombay the capital of West India? <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm sure it's exotic. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> But, um, but uh, I never thought I'd catch on in America, and yet it's happened in a oh. wonderful, wonderful way. In case you didn't know it, viewers, I am a very big star with it our is. cousins across the Atlantic. And I didn't seek it. I was in the cemetery buffing up my husband's obelisk. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's very often, you know... He used to like me doing that when he was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not an ob, it's a needle. It's huge, my husband's mon monument. It's, it's known as Norm's Needle, as a matter of fact. I mean, it's, it's a meeting place. People say, I'll see you under Norm's Needle. <laughs> More than I ever said when he was alive. And, uh, and, uh, and a voice came to me. There's a clap of thunder, Lenny, and, and you too, Michael. A clap of thunder. And I heard my late husband's voice. And he said, Edna, go to the States. They will adore you. They've come around. They've come around. And one day they'll come around to you, Lenny. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll put in a word for you, Thank Lenny. You. Thank I you very will. much. I appreciate that. And... Uh, I did, and it has been a fairy tale life for me. I was on the Ally McBeal, I've been in everything, got all these awards. It's lovely for a woman like me, because I'm strictly non-professional. <laughs> you say that. How, um, how did you approach the American audience? Did you feel you had to speak them differently than, than No, you? no, I don't talk down to people. I no. always just... I'm, <laughs> as you may have noticed, I'm yeah, myself. Uh, yes. I just go on and I'm me. Mm. I'm, this is all I've got. I just go out there... And I share a little bit of my experience, hope, and strength with my American possums, and they lap it up. But they need, you know, they, they take life a bit too seriously. Yes, they and do. No, we need, we need laughter, the beautiful gift of laughter, which you give so abundantly. We need it now, I think, more than we've ever needed it in the world today. Absolutely. I'm being a little bit... A little bit on the serious side now. Now, did you find that the American audience has varied from city to city? Yes. The ones in Chicago, they vary in the sense that they live there, and the ones in Boston... <laughs> the ones in Boston live in Boston, that. really. I didn't, that's the, I didn't, that's I didn't, that I didn't ask for that. No, I asked a, a sense No, of no. <laughs> I found that in San Francisco there were a lot of... I don't want it. There's a family show, I know, but there are a lot of same-sex couples uh. in San Francisco. It was a little bit sad to look out and see these 
disoriented people <laughs> clutching at each other, doing funny things. <laughs> but they're people. They were people and they were members of my audience and who knows, they may get well <laughs> one day. <laughs> No, I, you know I'm being a, such a wicked old tease, and I can't help it. I found a way to people's hearts, and... What is that, how, do you think? Well, don't be so analytical. It's not that kind of show, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, I, aren't you viewers, when I was last on this show, Lenny, mm. uh, or Leonard, if I may call you Lenworth, that? Lenworth, actually, Lenworth. Lenworth. Yeah. Goodness. Well, probably no one knows that. You've... A little exclusive for the Parkinson the show. The doctor who delivered me was called Dr. Lemworth, and my mum thought that was a suitable. I shall name this child Lemworth. Is he still alive, Dr. Lemworth? Uh, I think the shot killed him. <laughs> 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 Why couldn't you have been called Steve? <laughs> Lemworth. Or Kunta Kinte. <laughs> That's Sorry, carry on. Keep yes, going. Yes, we are, we are digressing. Fine yeah. job. We do digress. That please. Is, what was that last name you said? <laughs> It's, a, it's an African name, Kunta Kinte. Oh, I'm glad you didn't abbreviate it, Leonard. <laughs> However, I, I will please. <laughs> when I was last on the show, yes. I was trying to break a little habit of mm. Michael's, and I've succeeded. He used to touch his nose a lot. Whenever he said he? something. His hand would rush to his nose, and I stopped that, didn't I? I you nipped did. it in the bud. You did, absolutely. He, would, he was trying to digitally enhance himself. <laughs> <laughs> he was. We've all been there, though, haven't and we? You, know, you could get a septic septum. You could, because. You know what the septum is? No. It's that little no. wall, that little partition in your nose. Oh, that, that, the thing in the middle. That turns it into a dual carriageway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but know. You, uh, you did it again. I did, I did, Look, but... his hand flew to his face. <laughs> it's not necessary, Michael. What about the famous people you met in America? Of course, I mean, there was uh, Mrs. Bush. Of course, is now a close friend. Laura, isn't she? well, Laura. she is. She sought my help. She wants me to groom her. It's a lifetime's task, I'm afraid. <laughs> Mrs. Bush, I've told her not not to go on finishing her husband's sentences. I think that's a very bad thing, isn't it? <laughs> Let him just flounder for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what about Hillary? Did you meet Hillary? Hillary, I didn't... Well, we didn't quite hit it off. I think we're both very strong women, Hillary and I. Yes. I got her out of those Alice bands. You know how she used to wear those? I stopped her wearing those. But that's about all. Bill Gates, did you meet Bill? Him? Oh, yes. Little Bill came to my show quite a few times. He's... Uh, Quite a lively little person. We, Is he? We had, went out a little bit for a while. There was a moment there where I thought we might play doctors and nurses together. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever that happens, Norm looms large, I suppose. His hand was reaching for my mouse quite a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, and not only... Video games, you understand? Video of games. Not only America, of course, but in Germany you're huge as well now, aren't you? I like me, because I think I'm authoritative in Germany. Yes. And uh, it's, it's amazing, my appeal. Global. Yes. It wouldn't surprise me if Martians didn't adore me. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be back on television, Michael Parkinson is a thrill for me. Good. And to be on this show... Yes. We go back such a long way, don't Damn we? Damn it, we do go back a long way. Yeah, 30 years or so. I've helped this show how many no. times? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to have you back. And um, I know that you'll find a lot in common with uh, little Jerry Halliwell when she comes on. Jerry, yes. She's the image of me when I was there. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. He's <laughs> gone. He's gone. <laughs> so we better better get her on and make some comparisons, don't we? Why really? don't we? Yes, sir. <laughs> but in the meantime, Dame Edna Everett, thank you very much. Yes. Dame Edna Everett. <laughs>